The chests, they seem to be, again, it is one of the Indian Ocean uh, heritage, not any specific one. Uh, and every culture has contributed uh, to it. Well, I think definitely the influences are subcontinent. The wood was definitely from Africa or from India. So quite often they were carved in, in India. But then they would be sent to the Gulf where they would add, add their own decorations, the brass cuts. And then they, they used to be imported here to Zanzibar. The chest was mainly used in homes when a, a, a bride got married. That was her trousseau there. Inside would be perfumes, would be fabrics, would be all kinds of things for ladies, her shoes, and that would be her box or her, her cupboard. And when the tourism in the 1960s began to develop a little bit, some of the old chests from, from the Gulf used to be imported here and then really restored and sold at Zanzibar chests. And they also used to be made here. But one thing, traditional Zanzibar chests, or the kind that you would have found in uh, the Gulf, basically the wood was not carved. The wood was plain. It was just the, the structure of the box itself and the surface. The decoration was entirely nailed on top with brass cut design. This is our family shop. So the women we are in the shop and the men they was in the workshop. So we does different things. So my father is carpenter and designer. So and my brother as well, he's carpenter and designer. Tourists would come and they like the carved door and they like the chest, but they can't buy both. They want to have one piece that has both. And it is to meet the demand of the tourists that they began to introduce these carvings onto the chests. So these are not part of the traditional art of this region. It is to meet the tourist desires. Mako la chora, na butaka yangu mnyo na kisia mimi leo nchoto mchoro huu, kisha na fadhi zani balisha, mara na fadhi zani yuko na balisha mnyo hicho. Kwa mako tafuta kitu, kipya bana kwenye kwenye sio. Kuna kama haya ita carving, kuna ilia pana ita shirazi, ilia pana ita sulti ya kuponda, mako na ponda hiyo. Nola wana, kama haya ita sulti ya kuponda. Sasa kuna mtu mungu na kama mimi nataka kuponda, na fanya ya kuponda. Mungu na kama nataka kara futu pun, pili kara futu. Mungu na kama mimi nataka hivi. How we can know this is Shirazi? Shirazi will be cutting brass. Between those two is a Shirazi. All the brass is cutting, we call it Shirazi. This is a passion original from Iran before. And this is Sulti. It was Arabic design and Indian design. But here it is a symbol of Zanzibar design because of these cloves on it. Because clove is our first business in Zanzibar. I think nowhere you can get like exactly like this design except in Zanzibar. And also it is a different of the carving. I think the way the carving they does it, that is a symbol where it's coming from. So all the things we have in Zanzibar, we can put in the chest. But more nice art is a clove. People, if they put this in the house, they so close and say, oh, this is tradition of Zanzibar. I said, I'm going to say, 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 It satisfies the customers and it gives employment to the local carvers as well as develop their art, which otherwise would have died. We cannot really object. But in some ways, it is a change in the art form whose impetus is not internal but external from the tourists coming in. <laughs> <laughs>